All right, guys, we're back, and we're going to be here to do a Super Janemba a team building guide. And what's cool about him is that he is such a nice, versatile unit. The thing that stinks is he does not uh, fit in any category. So luckily for us, the video is going to be a little bit shorter because he's not going to have a, a category team to fit him into or to build for him. But um, it kind of stinks because he's only really viable on a villain's team and a mono extreme strength. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about him. He is the 120 Extreme Strength Leader uh, for Extreme Strength. Uh, he has a nice super attack, which does immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers the enemy's defense. His passive skill gives him an additional 80% attack. Guard activated against all opponents, and he has a built-in medium chance to evade enemies' attack, including supers, which is really awesome. Uh, he ha has the link skills of Big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed, Metamorphosis, Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Fear and Faith, and Fierce Battle. So, needless to say, he has an ultimate link skill set for villain units. So freaking awesome, I love it. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about some of the cards. First off, just want to say, there is a very limited selection of extreme uh, extreme units, extreme strength units in game. Uh, as you see over here, uh, man, it's such a small pool, for at least for TURs. It, it, it expands when you include SSRs, but man, Bandai has not given them any love. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into the actual team building. All right, so let's start off by taking a look at his best linking buddies. These are going to be the best linking buddies that he has in game. Uh, one thing I will say is that there's something going on with uh, Do uh, DokunBattleBuilder.com. They're showing links for cards of the same name that have Dokun Awakening. So there's something going on there. So don't take that into consideration when looking at teams to build. Um, we have Omega Shenron over here. This is the 120 leader. Uh, or sorry, this is the Shadow Dragon leader. He shares five link skills with him. Brutal Beatdown, Big Bad Boss, with Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, and Fear and Faith. So they have a lot of good link skills. They have 10, 25, 30, so that's 35, 45, 50% attack buffs linked together, and four key. These guys are phenomenal linking buddies. The other one is the other Omega Shenron. Five key links as well. Uh, really nice setup. Um, the other Omega Shenron. So essentially, Janemba and Omega Shenron are best buddies. <laughs> that's all that there is to it. They are best buddies. They're a good, a good pair. Uh, the other one is going to be the Intelligence Super and oh, Super or Super Saiyan, the Intelligence Android 17. They do share five link skills as well. It's probably not something you're going to consider to run honestly, but you can definitely get some nice links going off between them. They share four key and 20, 35 percent attack buff. That's really nice setup. Uh, can't go wrong with that. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about Mono Extreme Building. So Mono Extreme Building, as we said, we already have um, Omega Shenron. We actually can get rid of this one, Mega Shenron. <laughs> we have Cell and we have General Rildo or Meta Rildo. So Cell and Omega are his two probably best number one units. You're going to want to link with him. Uh, again, they haven't shown any love to this team in a very long time. So Brutal Beatdown, Big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, Fear and Faith. I know you're going to hear me say that a lot. Cell, he shares Big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, and Nightmare. So he's going to give him a, what, 25-35 uh 40 50 percent attack buff with cell which is a really nice setup as well so you can't really go wrong with these he just doesn't share as many key buffs as the omega shenron does so it's two less key so omega is probably still going to be your best bet you have meta Rildo if you don't have either of those two um or if you're looking to build for a friend so that way you could run like uh, these two together and then you want to have a uh if let's say you don't have cell but you have a friend that you're going to bring you could bring meta Rildo and have him set up there if you want he is a little bit of a tank so that's cool they share Metamorphosis, which is really nice for that HP regeneration. Big Bad Bosses, Nightmare, and, key, and uh, Fear and Faith. So they give each other a nice attack buff, constant 10% attack buff, constant regeneration, constant key, and then once you get 80% or below, uh, they get an additional 25%. So this setup is really nice because they're always healing, regenerating. Um, one other thing I did want to say, it's not really too relevant here, but for HP regeneration, if, if that's your main goal, you can throw a, a Zamasu in there. But we're going to talk about that in the next team building guide. Uh, first thing, well, before we do that, let's go ahead and talk about everyone he links with for Mono Extreme. Uh, this is just to show his link skill set. This is four or more link skills across the board. These are all the extreme units that are SSR and higher. All the SSRs and the one TUR Korra over here, these are pretty much all garbage units or all SSRs that have TUR var variants. We're not we're going to ignore all them. But starting here and moving our way around, I went from the least, well, it's actually going to come down here. I went from the least worst units that you could uh, actually put onto a team in terms of like damage output and viability to the best. If you notice over here, the only two is going to be Celza and Android 17 that aren't like Dokken exclusives specifically. 
Everything else is a Dokkan exclusive that he links so freaking well with four or five key links. Goku Black, the 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 keyless uh, leader uh, for physical and a good support unit on, or not good support, well, he's technically a good support unit on the physical teams, but he also is a decent hitter for a lot of you I know like him. Uh, Cell and Omega, we already talked about, he links with Buhan, he links with Rose, he links with Mer uh, uh, the uh, Merge Zamasu, he links with Super 17, he links with Shadow Dragon, Omega, he links with Physical Korra, he links with LR Rose and Zamasu, and the TUR variant of Rose and Zamasu. This guy is literally, like I said, the Kaioken variant for villains. Doesn't doesn't include just key though. So he is the key and attack buffs for all villain units. This is why he's so freaking awesome. You can literally, if you get this Janemba, you could throw on any villain team you want, essentially, and he will do his job. I mean, the thing is about Janemba, his original thing is to defend it, and that's what he does, and he does it well. So yes, this card does do immense damage with a nice attack buff, but his primary focus is to tank hits. So you can technically just throw him onto any old mono team that you really want if, if it's a villain's team, just so that way you could tank damage and he'll be giving everyone their key buffs and let the actual guys who do the damage do their damage. I'm not saying it's optimal, but you could do it. This guy is a really good unit, very versatile. He has a lot of things that he can do. He's not the best in one category. He's like, um, you know, one of the, what's that old the old saying? Uh, Jack of all trades, but master of none. That's exactly what this guy is, except for maybe defense. But even then, if he had if he had high uh, chance of dodging, then he would be a, a really good dodger. But regardless, really good unit. I don't like it when people say he's overrated because he is not. He's a very good unit. Last but not least, the mono team for him being a leader. There are so many different ways we can build this team. Um, I don't want to say so many, but there are there are a few different ways we can build this team. Uh, the first two are is going to be the LR variant is going to be with LR Broly with his S Super Saiyan counterpart because they are obviously best linking buddies. You're going to want them together. The other one is going to be the free to play LR Frieza, which um, I don't have, but I'm working on it slowly. <laughs> and Kuriza because they are best linking buddies. Uh, the next is going to be Janemba and Omega because they are really good linking buddies as well. Uh, Janemba doesn't really link well with too many people. He can link with LR Frieza for three key links. Uh, I think it's what's Metamorphosis, Big Bad Bosses, and Fear and Faith. So. It's nice. They give each other uh, HP regeneration, they give each other attack buff, and they give each other a key buff. The thing that stinks is there's not a constant attack buff between the two of them, so they're only going to be doing HP regeneration and giving each other key. And Frieza definitely needs a lot more key. Uh, outside of that, obviously I already talked to you about the Omega Shenron. He links very well with, that's why I have him over here. He doesn't really link well with Broly, so that kind of stinks. You're not going to want to run them right next to each other. Um, you do have Cell as you could take Cell and put him in as a replacement of Omega if you do not have the, uh, the Strength Omega. The cool thing about these two is Janemba tanks everything, right? And Omega reduces damage, so you're, if he doesn't dodge, he's literally taking almost no damage because of the damage reduction. Um, if Cell's there, not so much. It kind of stinks, but what can you do? Uh, outside of this, in terms of teams, it's kind of hard because uh, uh, if we're going to take LRs out of the picture, that means these guys, the, all these four, are no longer going to be a viable team or viable options. Which means you're going to be stuck with these four on the bottom, at least in my opinion. I guess we could throw Rildo in there because he is a good linker as well. Uh, but this essentially would probably be your, your team setup over here. Something like this. Uh, well, yeah, something like this. Uh, Zamasu is cool because he's going to get the HP regeneration. Omega is going to do damage reduction. Um... The, uh, the, the Janemba is going to give damage reduction, and Cell is going to do some decent damage. Now, I would recommend personally having uh, Omega on opposite rotation of Janemba if you're not taking in these LRs, because Janemba is going to tank and he's going to reduce damage. Now, there's no one doing that on this side. You have HP regeneration, right? So Omega is going to reduce the damage that comes in. So it's a very nice setup that you have over here. You can also throw Metareldo in if you need to. Uh, just because he does link well with Janemba, if that's what you're looking for. But uh, we're going to take him out of the picture for now. Now, in terms of on rotation, with all this setup that we have over here, we're obviously going to have a Janemba on rotation. You could throw him in there if you want. Like, you could do this kind of a setup as well, where you have uh, Janemba, Janemba on each side. You have Omega and then Cell. That would be a good setup. They do link very well with each other. And then on the, on the side, you're going to have to figure out who you want on rotation for buffs. 
Uh, now, these are going to be the two staple units that you can technically throw in here for buffs. Uh, Android 17 does have some, not a lot of linking, but he does some linking, but he's a key orb manipulator. It works out a lot better when it comes to the actual LRs because he is a key orb manipulator. The other one is going to be hit, and that's because hit uh, does uh, key plus three, attack and defense plus 40% for all allies, extreme allies that is anyway. Um, other, other notable units you can take into consideration is the TUR Bojack. Uh, this Majin Buu over here, he's cool because he's a key orb manipulator as well. Um, outside of that, I mean, it's really just picking whoever you have available at that point because that's really the best units you're going to be able to pick. Um, I know this Piccolo, I don't really utilize him a lot, so I couldn't really give you an opinion about him off the top of my head. Uh, one of these is Strength Freezes Disables Guard, so it's not it's not going to be the Omega or the uh, Gogeta effect, but you'll at least be able to disable some guard, <clears throat> so that way you can do some decent damage to an opponent. Um, also, one other thing to note, Janembo is really cool to have as a leader for the World Tournament once he becomes available for LR Broly because you're getting some more attack, HP, and defense buffs. I mean, obviously you're not going to want to make it your primary thing for defensive because you want to make sure the enemy never attacks you because if they super attack you in like 30 times multiplier, really not that great. But Janembo will at least give you that additional HP and attack buff. That way Broly will always destroy everyone. But anyway, guys, that's it. That's a team building guide for today. That's my opinion on it. I think the team is awesome, but you literally, in order for the most optimal builds, you either need to have like LR Broly and an SSJ LR Broly. You need to have grinded out LR Frieza and gotten lucky enough to pull Kariza, who's only been out now two times on a banner, um, or have one of the Doken Fest exclusives. Like the, the Mono Extreme team does not leave a lot of room for substitution, and that's what really stinks about it. But uh, hopefully Bandai fixes that coming up in the future. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.